Hello and welcome to part 4 of my trade. I think this time I'm going to show you some things you want to gather from underground. First thing is sand. Get a couple of sand blocks. Ah, there's a worm coming. Ah! Get my life. If we ever hear that weird sound, it's a worm. And they don't, they, they keep coming back until you kill them. So just, I don't know, watch out. Ah! There we go. If you can manage to hit them in the head, that's perfect, because they don't live very long after that. Okay, what I'm down here for mainly is I want to find some iron, and I want to find a skeleton, because I want something you really need to get as early on in the game as you can, is a grappling hook. And that plant on this is called Blink Root, Blink Root and use it for alchemy later on. Um, I want I get a grappling hook because they are very useful items. Ow. Oh god, this is painful. Ow. Get away from me, worm. Right. Okay. And you need to get a grappling hook as pre pretty much as early into the game as you can because they are very, very, very useful. They basically allow you to jump across sides of chasms and stuff, so you can get anywhere you want, pretty much. And I better... Ow. Right. I got skeletons, that's good. This is what I was looking for. These guys. Hopefully he drops a hook. Please drop a hook. Because I really need one. No hook. Okay, never mind. Oh, black slime. Okay. As you can tell, um, going underground is quite dangerous because there's enemies everywhere. And obviously you don't want to die because you lose all your money. So I'll jump around this ah, shit. I'll jump around this place, see if I can find anything useful. Hopefully I can. I mean, these mushrooms are useful because they give you a lot of health. Get away bats, get away... Ah! Bulls. I need to eat some food. Uh, I got potions, but I won't use them yet. Okay. Oh, that's part of it. I didn't see that. Oh, bomb. Nice. Oh, yeah. You also can't chop away the ground where there's something growing on top of it. Right, piss off. Get away, get away, get my life, get my life, get my life, get my life, get my life. And now there's another worm. <sighs> These creatures don't like me, do they? There's two of them. It's not fair. Ah, pain. There we go. Got my life. Okay, nice. As you can see in that wall up there are some crystals, and that's topaz, I think, or sapphire. I don't need them yet, so I won't bother getting any. Ah, this is what I want to show you. I'm glad I found in these. Okay, so down here you can see a heart thing there. Hopefully I don't die quite there. Eh? Um, and you want to get as many of these heart things as you can. There's also a chest, so that's lovely. To get a heart, you need to get a hammer and smash it away. In a break and you get a life crystal. You simply consume that. And watch my health at the top. It jumps up by one. The more you find, the better you can get. At the moment, you can equal to a maximum of 20. Ah, uh, no. 400. Sorry. 20 hearts, 400 bits. Inside the chest, you find various things. Oh, nice silver. Cool. Ah, oh, I got the boomerang. Right, the boomerang is a very good find. If you get it early on, awesome. And I'm going to take this box with me because I want it. So you just smash it and then you can print your backpack. And below me I can see a lot of copper. No iron yet, but wherever. Right? I gotta try and make sure this video is not too long as well. So I need to find some damn iron. Also, um, the better axes you get, like if you get a copper axe is the first one, which is quite slow. Then you get the iron one like I got, which is faster to harvest stuff. 
and then there's the silver one and then the gold one. They allow mining to be a very quick process. So it's good to get them. As soon as you can really. But it's also a very good idea to um, get a better sword. Or whatever weapon you prefer to the best. So you can defend yourself a bit better. But then it's also good to get some armor. So yeah. Let's explore the water. This could be very dangerous. It is. I'll probably die down here. Yeah. I thought so. So once again, um, from my failure, you've learnt <laughs> that you should never just jump straight into water until you get items later on in the game because they are, it can be quite dangerous, to say the least. So now seeing as I'm dead, with the sand I harvested you can make some glass, so just make quite a bit of glass, and now you can see I can make bottles, so make some bottles. I'll put that up there. Oh crap, I dropped that boomerang. Right, with the bottle, what you want to do is get a table, like this guide has, and just place it on there, and with this, you can craft potions. Good times, right? So you can make a lot of potions so you can keep yourself alive better. There's loads of different potions, so I'll go through that in a later part of the vid uh, in, in the series. But I, uh, yeah. See, look, now I can make a silver short sword. Which I don't want because I don't like the short swords. Let's make shit like copper. I can I make a copper helmet, that's nice. Um put that copper in there, put that silver in there. Yes, I believe that's what I wanted. Yep. And now I can make a silver broadsword. Which is what I want. So plunk up in there. I will make copper greave, so I get a bit more armor, and it works out to be two points of defense, means you get, for each two point of defense you get one less damage, so I got four defense, that means I take two less damage from my uh, enemies attacking me. You can't really get a great deal of defense until the end of the game though, so you just gotta make sure you just, what are you doing really? Right, I'll plunk things in this chest. Another thing I also found is a good idea too is um, if you make a separate little house type thing, a structure, a building structure, and just place lots of chests in there, and then it can act like a storage shed. It's very, very useful. Um, yeah. But this boomerang, it's a good thing to find this early because later on you can you can be away with fire but as you can see it lights up the path as well so you can see a bit further ahead and it also attacks enemies and if you bounce into the ceiling it's faster so yeah this is my new sword and all that crap in the next episode I will try and not die because so far that's what I'm doing but it's a good lesson to learn is always be as careful as you can in this game because it is very very dangerous especially in the start of the game. Later on it's not so bad, but generally you do not want to lose health. And never jump into a body of water when you don't know how big it is or how deep it is, because you can find yourself stuck. Especially now there's piranhas and stuff. I'll demonstrate this boomerang in this guy now. So good it is. See it's for 10 which is much better. It's a very good weapon. It also hits multiple enemies if you go behind them, and it catches them the way back too, so if you miss, there's a good chance you'll catch them twice. See? That's good. And, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you the next episode sometime soon, where I will hopefully not die. And remember to learn from my mistakes, and be careful. That's a very good point.